Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer. And this is some uh, Black Ops gameplay where I go 41 and 26. So it's one of my highest um, kill scores, if you want. Uh, but what I really wanted to talk about is um, melee attack or knifing in Call of Duty, um, or at least the last ones, because since Call of Duty 4, I believe. Uh, the melee attack has been drawing a knife, and if you successfully knife someone, you'll get an instant kill. This has led to something called panic knifing, which is if you see that you're going to lose a gunfight, you're just going to do a melee attack and instantly or uh, often win the gunfight because you suddenly get a one hit kill attack. So there's been a little discussion uh, lately about how to kind of, um, I don't want to say fix it, but how to improve the melee. Because someone just won, uh, won Treyarch or whoever is the next developer to just revert it back to what it was in the first three Call of Duty's I believe, where when you were meleeing you were only uh, you were using your weapon, uh, the butt of your weapon, to just kind of hit uh, hit people with instead of drawing a knife. And it wouldn't kill them, but it would take them a certain amount of health. And I think there's actually something to that. And that's also kind of how Halo does it, because you have a melee there, but it won't necessarily kill them if they have full... It won't kill them if they have full health but it'll do some damage and I think that's probably one way to approach it and what they could do is just more or less just blink the copy the halo way to do melee which is if you tap the melee button you'll do a a hit or a butt with uh, or hit just a hit with your weapon or your fist or whatever and this will do some damage say half of the health, the, the the maximal health, so you'll have to do two melees and it'll kill them. Uh, or, what you could do is hold the melee button and then you'll use some kind of execution move, which Halo does, Halo Reach does, I should say. Um, but when you, the execution will kill them, but it'll take some time, so say like one or two seconds where there'll be an animation where you are vulnerable so if someone sees you doing the execution they'll be able to kill you um, if they should be able to save the guy you're killing I don't know they they'd have to look into that but at least you'd be vulnerable so you wouldn't be able to just run around knifing like three people in a row of course it would accept some people and of course only use my blade and only use knife would um, <laughs> get upset that that was the case. So what you could do is actually do what only use me blade suggested, which was uh, make people draw their secondary weapon to use the knife. So you couldn't use the knife or melee at all if you had the primary weapon equipped. You had to switch to your secondary. Uh, I see some problems with this though, as for my se take my se uh, myself, for example, I um, never run a gun or something like that as a secondary. I exclusively, exclusively run a launcher. So it wouldn't make sense for me to pull up a launcher to knife someone. But they they probably find a way to, to get around that. And of course, you could just do it the uh, uh, Counter-Strike way where you have uh, uh, a weapon slot that's specified for the knife or as someone also has suggested that your secondary weapon should be a knife equipped instead of everyone having a knife only the ones that have equipped the knife as a secondary weapon would get a knife and the rest of them will probably just hit the people with their weapon or something like that another way to do it is actually to do it the way that uh, DICE have, has done it in Bad Company 2 and what they've done is actually slow down the, sp uh, the speed of the knife. So if you're going to knife someone in Bad Company 2, you kind of have to um, time it. Because you can't just run up to someone 
and knife them like I did right there. That's not possible because they will probably shoot you. Because <laughs> it takes quite a while and there's no lunging at all. Uh, you only get an aim assist. So if you hit the uh, the melee button, you'll get help aiming because it, it'll turn so that you'll be able to hit. But if he's out of range, he's out of range. And uh, I s the choice of actually using the knife in Bad Company 2 comes down to do I have the time required to do the animation or do I not because you can't just pull out, pull out your knife knife in every close combat uh, gunfight because sometimes you won't uh, it'll take too long and you'll be shot in the process so that could really cut off some of the panic knifing because then you actually had to time it so as I said, in Bad Company 2, if you're actually going to knife someone, you'll actually have to time it pretty pretty well to, to make it effective. So, that's another way to solve it, I guess. Uh, what I also wanted just to say is, I actually find this uh, whole panic knifing kind of thing quite strange. Um, it wasn't until, I guess, Modern Warfare 2 that I really discovered the, the knife, or the melee that would kill people in just one hit and I guess it was introduced in COD 4 uh, but the thing is though um, I really don't um, see, as, see it as a problem the only thing that I see as a problem is the fact that you get the commando lunge and that really annoys me but other than that it really doesn't annoy me to get knifed um, for me, I guess it's because it's more like in def uh, like a defense mechanism for me. If I see someone up close, I'll just instinctively knife them because it's so easy to get to. Because, believe it or not, my button setup is quite strange on the mouse. So, I actually melee or knife with my right mouse button. So, it's really easy to get to it. So, I if I see someone up close, I'll just knife them because that's... I. I conserve ammo and I'll get an instant kill if I hit. And at least in Call of Duty, and especially in uh, Black Ops, that means. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's late at night <laughs> and I'm tired. Um, or at least in Black Ops, it means that um, you'll probably lunge halfway through the. Uh, halfway across the map to get the knife planted in someone's chest or something like that. So, the gameplay is coming to an end. We actually win, just just barely win. Um, it was actually quite an even match. It was quite fun, actually, to play. Because it was kind of heated. And I love the matches when they're even. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just boring playing a game where one team is dominating the other. Because you don't get any proper gameplay out of it. The match is, doesn't last as long. And, of course... I I just think it's boring to play against a a bad team where one team is domin dominating the other. It's, it just makes for bad gameplay and boring gameplay. Not just for recording, but for just playing too. So that's the game. Uh, nothing more to say really. I uh, hope to see you next time. Snuckus.